Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the recovery of precious metals from 20 kilograms of e-waste. Um, now if you remember from part 1, I had these pins that I tried to leach the gold from. Now I struggled with the, with the non-magnetic pins, it didn't want to leach. So I was going to dump everything in a vat of nitric acid, but then I thought that's going to take a litre of nitric, it's going to become expensive. So I thought I'd make a little copper cell and see if I can dissolve the copper first and then go after the, the gold. So I've got a plastic tub and in there I'm going to pour one litre of copper sulfate. I might need a little more. There's 100 grams of copper sulfate in, a, in the one litre of water. Here I've got a basket to catch anything that falls through the bottom of there. I can place that in there. And just sink that in. I definitely need more electrolyte. Back in a moment. Ta da! Right. There's now two litres of electrolyte in there. For the cathode, I've got a couple of old heat sinks. I've just sanded them down a little. Put that in there. And then for the anode, Done the same again, just pop that on top of the pins. Like that. Get a bit of a decent connection. And then I can fire up the cell. You don't need a high voltage for the uh, copper cell, so I'm running this one at one volt and just under half an amp. And with the pins having the copper removed, I can move on to something else. So I've got the BGAs here and I need to remove all of the solder. So I'm going to throw in some um, hydrochloric acid. For this I'm using a hydrochloric acid that I've recovered from some copper chloride. So this is free, just free acid. I'll leave this to sit and dissolve all the solder and uh, I'll move on with something else. So next up I've got the gold corner BGA tops. Uh, there's not a lot of these, um, so I'm not expecting a lot from this. I wanted to try something different, so I want to try and pan the material. Um, I've got my trusty blue gold pan here. I've never tried panning the ash before. I just thought it would be something different. And hopefully by reducing the amount of material that I'm working with, I can keep more of the gold. But we'll see how it goes. I'll throw them in here. I'll get my blowtorch out, uh, incinerate them, and I'll meet you in a minute. There we go, all ashed and ready to crush. I'll speed through this, I'm just going to pass it through the kitchen strainer and then the 70 mesh strainer, and then I'll get to washing it. Now you've probably seen this done a thousand times, so I'm not going to bore you with 15 minutes of me washing material. Um, for anybody who hasn't seen it before, simply wash the material, give it a spin round with a stick, pour out the loose material that's floating in with the water, and I'll do this repeatedly until I wash it and the ash settles within 10 seconds with clear water on top. 
and that should be all your gold contained in heavy material. Now I've just done the quick test pan of this material and surprisingly there's a lot of copper in there so it's making it very difficult to pan as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a quick nitric acid boil uh, to remove some of that copper and then I'll have another go at panning it. Looking closely it does look like there's a little bit of silver in there as well. So I've just spent the last five minutes talking to the camera, telling you all how difficult this stuff was to pan and all manner of things. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't recording. So what I'm going to do is I've got the DIP chips to do. I'll quickly blast through them um, and then I'll come back to you and then we'll I'll show you the panning process with them. Okay, so I've got my gold pan and I'm going to be doing this one teaspoon at a time. I'll throw a bit of water in there. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of all the black material, all the light stuff. This actually rinses back really nice. With the gold corner BGAs, it actually dragged the gold back with it because the wires were so long it was a bit of a pain but with these shorter wires it's actually not that bad so I'm just washing this back until I see any signs of any gold Right, I can see signs of gold, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this off. I've got a beaker on the floor. i just rinse that down in there. And I can redo, I can re incinerate this stuff later and see if I've uh, lost anything. Put a bit more water in. And let's see if we can find some gold. Now there's a lot of grey material in with this stuff, I'm actually not sure where it is. It's really heavy, sits on top of the gold. Um, it's not silver, it didn't dissolve in the nitric acid. A few taps. It's very difficult to separate the gold from that silver material. I'll show you a close-up of it. So the gold is all that stuff that's sitting above that grey material there. All them little tiny wires. Get them with my snuffer bottle. I'll probably pan this material twice, maybe three times. I've got an afternoon, so. It's quite therapeutic, really. And then once I've done all this, I'll get it into a beaker for you and then we'll uh, dissolve the gold and see how much we get.
Right, so the material's panned and I've got it all sat here in this beaker. I'm going to add in 50ml of hydrochloric acid. And the whole idea of panning the material was so that I didn't have to use so much hydrochloric acid um, if I were to have left all the material as it was it would have took me 200 300 mil just to cover the material that was in the in the beaker and give it a, a generous spoon of potassium nitrate and then i'll allow the gold to dissolve it not take too long to be fair I am still going to re-incinerate the other material. I want to see if there is any losses, um, if it is worth doing it this way, before I start on the smaller BGAs on the other OC chips. If I haven't lost too much material, then I'll probably do this, do this the same way again. Obviously, if I have, then I'll have to rethink. But I'll leave that to sit. And I'll get back to you shortly. I had to bring you back for this close-up. The gold dissolving looks a, a little bit like spiders climbing out of dirt. Quite fascinating. Right, same as my last gold drop, I'll be using the ferrous sulfate. Pull that in. Good reaction. I'll leave that to settle, wash it off, and then I'll get you back for the weigh. All right, here's our gram from the uh, first video. Up from the scales, zero and count. And we have 0 0.7 grams. A little disappointing, to be honest. I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, I've got a feeling there's still more gold locked up in that um, black plastic, that ash. So I will be re-incinerating it in the next video, probably. It could just be that there's not that much gold in then DIP chips, which I know anyway, there's not a lot. But I was still expecting more than 0 0.7. So, we'll see. Uh, I think I better have a bit of a tidy up. And then I'll make a start on the pins. They look as if they've dissolved nicely. So yeah, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.